Hello, my sparks. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Last time, well, we did some things. Things, got some badges, yada yada yada. The boring stuff. Now we're going to Buggly Buggly Woods! Technically, we can do it. Just, just better just to. Hey, Mario! You see that? That was one of those things Professor Frank frankly mentioned. Yes, I can see that. Oops. Again, nerd! No, leave me alone, you big meanies! Oh, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. Nice little nice guy, we're not bullies, I swear. For real? Oh boy, that's good. I thought a second I might have an accident. Why are you one of those creatures from Wild Wildly Woods? Why are you down here? What? Why do you know about me? You mean, how do you know? No, you must be. You guys are working for those exiles, aren't you? Chase me here. No, it's the end. Exiles? What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues. Too extreme or something. Look, we're not here to energy to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. These bad guys called those exiles came to where I live. They came inside a great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I come down all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree. Those are the same bad guys who took the princess. We might, they might be in Bogle with the tree. Hmm, there's a star. When you mention it, it did say something about some crystal star thing. But we punies don't know anything about any crystal or stars. Say, can you guys help us out? Maybe choose them off? You will give you a... What was it? A crystal star? If you do... If you do, we'll help Puny Elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it will help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder would. So as you see, let's not waste time. You don't have to waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? I mean, I guess we should. I do feel pretty bad if we didn't do it. Okay? Plus, we need to get the crystal stars before the, those next guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Uh, problem, Punio. I'm too big. Wait, hang on a second. I shouldn't come here to sit in the well, but you're an expert in those games. Okay, and while we could go right, let's go left. To get this badge, Damage Dodge. Yeah, we'll get rid of Power Smash. For now. I should wait. Uh, multi bones instead. We'll keep Power Smash. And get to the woods where you can use by going through that pit there. Okay, hurry, hurry! Now we enter 
chapter two, the great boggly tree. Ugh. So this is Bob Lewis, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. What are we running to next? Um, okay, it's the bit we should be able to see the great tree. Builder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Time to work, my lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do? Yes. <laughs> I'm the Mario guy. A, find the Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can we? Oh, is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goal. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. We must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh! You mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian! Vivian! For shame! Picking up someone else, someone's scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! <laughs> Vivian, my dear pet friend. Bring out the sketch of that, of that Mario which guy that you got from Grodis. <laughs> what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. Richard Little Worm blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Goo goo. What is it, Melon? Mustache, mustache, old fellow. This is no time for such nonsense. Great oaf, save your gains for later. No, no, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? Excuse me, but the only rationale. You understand, it's force. For your punishment, taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, well done. Oh, you're horrid. Oh, what am I to do? What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram right now. I have no business with you. Struck first!
Ah, uh, almost. Got some star points. Honey syrup. Feel bad for Coop's taking damage though. Wait. Actually, we'll be back here, so no point shaking this tree. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we puny for it. That's home. Of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. In coupon. Oh, this guy's here. I don't remember if he's always here or not. These are pretty much. These are really use useful. Not gonna be ones here. Not yet, at least. The great tree. Happy plus. There we go. There's the badge that I really want. Uh, where is FP plus? FP plus at the top. Oh, I don't know why I didn't notice it. Uh, 
Okay, because I think we're getting close to a fight where we probably I don't believe we can actually reduce damage. No, it doesn't want to open. No, it doesn't want to open. Well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could save everyone. I'm a fool. Okay, don't take a sword. It does look sturdy, but what do we do? No. Um. Uh, hmm. Um, hmm, hmm. Got it! Mario, over here! Told me about secret engine somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, probably like that kind of thing easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. Not to be a word word, but how the heck can we find a secret entrance? Well, it's in my this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. But probably removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurries are a fine, dignified lady who lives in these woods. The other says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. See where I'm going with this. She can use wind power, power to blow the thingy away. Well, I won't hurt her try. Flurry lives deep in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back to, in that direct, in the direction we came from. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world, yes indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world and used to such a piece, this negative image of the real world. Soothes my body and soul. What's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus those squishy droplets little humans. That living in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to create the hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happen it's even happening. Even as I speak, already I feel the need for drama. The moment of acceleration when the spotlight shines down on the stage. On me! Surely I was born to be actress for the ages. So then, I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I suddenly must whip my body and mind to the tree. I will put on some makeup, make my beautiful beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you, my, my... I wish they would just kick us out of the pipe first. So we didn't have to wait longer. We had these from here, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. I, w I figured that. Puny. Max. Oh. And they're dead. That's a bit low star points personally. But hey.
just uh, kills the crow. Don't have a way to hit the enemy. Not yet. Just so we can that have pretty much for free. Oh no! Uh. That that sucks. That just sucks. At least it almost makes the song. Try that again. Okay, so I'd actually go around. I thought the crew just barely get up, but no, apparently not. Oh. P down, D up. No. I'm not a fan of those badges. I get the strategy you can do, but. Oh. Quick hammer! That's actually kind of useful, not right now though. Oh, Zarbies! Yeah. 
Nope. Uh... Fully heal Mario. Fully recover FP. Right, because I wouldn't be able to actually use Koon because ah. Uh... Oh well. Bonus, but oh well. Come on, get in. Oh, hopefully. Uh, excuse me. Um, no, she's in here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Better save. Madam Flurry, hello. If you're here, say something. No, follow the question. You must come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a minute. Who's darling? Squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last, poor dear. Is there something you need? Oh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. My queen friends are trapped inside, so we're in the pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. The train wreck, really? That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance for the battle glory. Oh, is that old dear? Keep it off the just for that. My double little Punio, you know, if you get anything in my power to help you. However, let me tell I'm in the favor of buying myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, something wrong? Somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find that blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd simply. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. I shan't be going out. 
this is absolutely must have the necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz, it must be some nice necklace, huh? Hmm. Do you know what? It's weird. I'm sure I heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke. Do you have some clue to wear my necklace whereabouts? If you do, you must help me, please. Be a dear and find I want to bring it back to me. After that, I most certainly will join you, having a squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, my boy. I'm sure Mario can find a necklace. Word is, it's super. You can have it, right, Mario? Sure. <laughs> Great, it's a Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you, so... Problem if we had a way to speed this up. On the green one. Oh, that means they respawn. I may be able to. Really? Number one of them? Zappy! No, no, we have power bounds. Marley, you didn't need to! I don't, this is the one time I don't want her to power me up.
heal him. Should I get one power block though? No, I'm gonna buy one sneak if you can. Cause that'll be useful. Not bad, dude. Not a lot. It's a lot of 
if it isn't Mario. Shiny mustache, no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Wee! And you know why? Because we were waiting for you. <laughs> oh, it's them. They're the ones who that. Wait. Wait a minute, what? You can wait for Mario? What the... That's supposed to mean, you weirdo. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I seem to can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as I do of you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the crystal stars and the, crystal, and the map and the crystal stars? We've been talking to Princess Peach or... What do you want to say? The real question is who the heck are you? <laughs> no specific names are often disappointed, but if you insist, tell me. We are... The Free! Shadow Sisters! The Free Shadow Sisters? I believe in the original they're called the Free Beauty Shades? Or something like that? I don't remember. Vivian! Vivian! Ninkaboo, what are you babbling up? It's just shadows! The Free Shadows! Sisters make this sound less mysterious and less scary! How many times must I remind you? Alright, sis, I'm sorry. I just makes me really, really happy when you call me your sister, so. No one's so full of sappy. Oh, oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. We have to deal with. First, we have to deal with, with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, the minds of the three shadows, relation with hell be more than enough to win the day. Okay, good. See if we can make them all sleep. This must be lucky, but our sights are such a new well for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian! Let's show them the process we can do. Good. Yes, sis. Once they're off, bye, Johnny Twins. Okay, we actually put down probably the, the least dangerous, honestly. That's Vivian, the youngest of the three shadows. Makes speed 10, attacks 1, and defense 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she is kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am, I guess. Wow, well, I can have a chance. Yeah, she does. That's Bella. She's the oldest sister. The leader of the shadows. Three shadows. Mass speed is nine. Attacks one and defense zero. For a player attack is ten. Attack is two. She can make a partner as big and as tiny. Attacks with three magic. The worst thing about her is that since her speaker, she sounds totally evil. I mean, she's sort of person you want to afford the play, you know? Earth Travers. Marilyn, she's one of the three shadows. Belgian Next week, well, text two, defense zero. She even charges up attacks and creates up on this. She says here she's a tough one. This is so maybe best to be the first, huh? But man, she doesn't have any particular thing for her first. Oh, 
would say your speech is actually really neat characteristic. But I know it probably means more battle characteristics. Ah! Now it's up to you! You lumps, we would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you, prepare for our world-class punishment session when we get home. But the necklace... Leave it! Miss Flurry's necklace? Yes, let's take it to her. But for that... And there's a sleepy sheep here. So. We didn't even need to buy one if I hit that earlier. in the previous likes. Very well. Very well doubled into 60. Oh, 
Well, you found my necklace. I'm beside myself truly, but you still mustn't see me. Please leave the next by the door and oh, wait a moment. Yeah. Oh, splendid, splendid! Oh, my oh so ravishing necklace on the watch for joy. You are fine, specimen of a man. Yes, me too. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how do I do it? Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. You ready, go, hands. Time to give you a proper thank you. Fuck her up. Tomorrow, you are the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are. And that's that. So tell me, are you truly one of the crystal stars? Or are you crystal stars put on by all the little lights in your world? Dangerous little search for beautiful truths. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a chain. And besides, I do declare that plush and stash of yours is completely swoon. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble and I want to do so, I dare say, I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume it's fine, huh? And we've got Flurry! Yeah, so, but pressing X, we can blow away paper like this. This is literally something that is rarely ever going to be used, if at all. I've matched it. Yeah, so I'm gonna... I'll talk more about it in the next episode. Well, body fan, at least, because... Gale Force is one I want to talk about now. Because... You're probably not going to see it. At all. 4 FP, and I believe, I believe it's Gale Force. Yeah, Gale Force literally knocks enemies off the stage, I believe. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. But for this chapter, for pretty much most of it, we'll be using Flurry, and we'll be mostly using Body Slam, being honest. But, that's not here or there. Let let us depart, and I'll see you guys next time <gasps> for let's for more Let's Play Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. And save those pugins. And before you ask, no, this will not be a recurring thing where I go through the land portion one episode and get through the dungeon portion the next. This will not be a reoccurring thing. It's only going to be like this in the early episodes. I think chapter 4 is the one is going to be the big exception. So, yeah. Just making it clear. Zero Zuma, 